Everyone has been waiting for an update on the 200 pound Tibetan Mastiff that I have been training. As you guys know, he was completely uncontrollable, biting his own owner and reactive and aggressive towards anyone. Everybody was scared of him. I'm scared for you. <laughs> When we first started, the owners could not take him anywhere. They did not know how to control him. He could not have a muzzle on and he was completely unapproachable. We did a total of four training sessions and today you guys are going to see the fourth training session showing his progress so far. Hey, hey. He's extremely smart too. He's trying to chew the leash as fast as he can. Yeah. Here we are on session number four, and it's his first time today at a park with all kinds of distractions around him, as you guys are going to see. Watch how he has a muzzle on and the owner has full control on the leash. The owner now is a lot more able to give the dog directions and the dog is a lot more accepting of having someone else in control. Because this is the first time that we actually have a lot of distractions around. Uh, but one thing that we have to do is build his understanding that he can be around people and everything. He's learning, he can just walk by them, no problem. That was really good. Redirect him, good. I was very proud of not only the dog, but the owner as well. They have done a lot of work at home. This is only our session number four, but they have been practicing. This is my favorite part right here. You guys saw him go by all just people running basically directly towards him. They're only about six feet away. Uh, he would never tolerate this before. You guys could see that he was getting a little bit excitable, a little bit unsure, but he did not react. And that was amazing. Release attention. So release attention. If anything, you're gonna move away from him a little bit. Do a pull towards you. Step away from him. Step away more. Like actually step this way towards me. And then do a little pull. Good. Keep doing that to keep a loose leash. Good. And then as he gives you the loose leash, then you go back towards the direction you're going. This shows that our work is not done with him yet, but it shows you guys how much progress he has made. The owners are very satisfied because the goal is really for them to have him more under control. This is not a breed that is intended to be happy-go-lucky with everybody, but he was completely out of control and we're still going to be doing more training to continue to improve. If you guys are enjoying my series with Squatch, make sure you subscribe and keep an eye out because I will still be working with them and will continue to post updates with his next training sessions.